Men's ice hockey in their first home game since the calendar changed over to 2023, taking on the University of Southern Maine on Friday night. And it would be a battle of goaltenders in the first period. Sam Best, a big save in the splits early on against the Huskies. On the other end, Coley Benkowskis with a shot opportunity against Mason Palmer. He's turned away. And then it's going to be Blake Coleman with a shot opportunity of his own. Coleman weaving in and out of Southern Maine defenders. He's going to fly over Palmer net. Actually get called for goaltender interference right here. Beacons kill off the penalty. And on the other end, Sam Best continuing to do what he does best, making saves in net. That glove one keeps it at 0-0. And then the Beacons, a trio of scoring opportunities right here. The puck is loose in front, and Palmer somehow able to dive across the net and stop it and kick it out. So the Beacons still tied at 0 all. And then in the second period, Matthew Saborn, his fourth goal of the season. You're going to see Saborn just kind of in the right place at the right time. This puck just kind of trickles over to him. Best was not expecting it to get over there. And just like that, Southern Maine is in front, one nothing. But Dakota Concannon responds with a power play goal a little while later. Unassisted, Evan Googans with the initial shot against Palmer. It's deflected, finds the stick of Concannon, who gets it into the right side of the net. And just like that, we are tied back up at 1-1. But the Beacons continuing to fire on net and try and get something by Palmer. But on the other end, Sam Best standing tall in net with that nice diving save helps keep it 1-1. And the Beacon defense is a big reason why the Beacon offense on the other end was able to get what they got going later on as Corey Clifton, his fifth of the season, on assist. You see the wraparound right here. Puck gets loose and Clifton just in the right place at the right time in the second period. It's now 2-1 2-1 to one, UMass Boston heading into the third. And Jacob Eggson's going to make it 3-1. to one. As you see, Blake Coleman's going to fire this one in the offensive zone. It just bounces off the boards perfectly and finds Banks stick for his third goal of the season. The Beacons are up 3-1. to one. Southern Maine, though, would not go away. First, Banks is going to try and get another scoring chance right here against Palmer. He's turned away, kind of in the same spot as before. And then the other end... The Huskies are going to get their second goal of the game. Here you see Caden Lott is going to get this one just inside the blue line and is able to fire it past Best. And just like that, it's a one-goal game again. But the Beacon defense, standing trial, the Beacon offense, doing what they have to do to get the win in this one. Grady Friedman, a late scoring chance there, is turned away. It's going to be Sam Best getting the win with 18 saves in net on 20 shots. On the other end, Mason Palmer takes the loss with 43 saves Beacons take this one 3-2. to two. They take on nationally ranked Babson College tomorrow afternoon at home at 4 o'clock p.m.